surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Beautiful Essentials here. Today's video I'm going to be transforming this plastic chair into a throne chair. Now I'm going to start off by taking measurements of the back and cutting out the shape that I want from a cardboard. I'll be using these decorative onlays at the top, so I'm going to be laying them down on the cardboard and tracing out the shape. I'm going to carve this out and then attach it to the back of the chair. But before I do that, I'm going to add plastic to make it easy for me to do my tufting on it. I'm going to use cardboard around the plastic chair to give it a whole new different look. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Throne chairs can be quite pricey, but the whole idea here is to make sure that I use a plastic chair that already has the body frame that I need. And all I'm doing is just changing the shape with cardboard. I am so excited about this because I already have the body of the chair. So it makes my work a lot easier. I cut the top of the foam to take the same shape as the cardboard. Now I'm going to go ahead and make points for my tufting and I'll be using a staple gun for my tuft. And I'm making the tufting on the plastic that I had put behind the cardboard because the plastic chair that I'm working on had holes in it. That's why I put plastic behind the cardboard. The fabric by the side has been stapled on the chair. The arms are too thin, so I'm going to add another foam, another one inch foam. And because I don't want that part where it adds up to show, I'm going to use tape to smoothen it all out to make it look flat. You can see the black tape through the fabric, so I had to add more fabric there to eliminate the black patch. I'll be covering this up and stapling it down on the plastic chair. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to be stapling down the fabric that's at the back on the chair as well. I added foam at the back and a much thicker foam in the front to make it look fuller. And then I covered that part with fabric. The chair started looking really small and so short for a throne chair, so I had to increase the height at the back. This kind of gave it a very funny shape at the back, but then I didn't really mind because I won't be looking at the back that much. If you look closely, you can see the difference between the bottom tufting and the ones at the top. That was one of the things that made me so upset. And then another thing too was the fabric. I had to add some pieces by the side because I ran out of fabric. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't look too bad in the end. Now these are flexible trims that I got online. I spray printed them gold and they're gonna be attached to the sides. These are gonna be attached with screws. Here will be for the decorative onlays, and these will be attached with screws as well. I covered the front part here with fabric and spray painted the legs gold. I got this from Family Dollar and it's from a picture frame set. It's plastic and it's perfect for my project. I took it out and I spray painted it gold and now I'm gonna be cutting just what I need that's gonna fit the chair. This part of the plastic chair made it so hard for me to put something flat there. So I'm gonna cut the design that I wanna put there into two. I'm gonna attach the foam for sitting before I continue. I'll use this gold trim around the edges of the chair. And then I added a little piece from what I just cut down here at the bottom. I'm gonna be adding more decorative onlays to my design because most interesting looking throne chairs have a lot of decorative finishings at the top and at the bottom. And the complete list of all the things that I used for this project is gonna be down in the description box below. This is another flexible trim that I got online that I spray printed gold. And I'm going to use this inside the design that I already have that's on the chair. This will also cover the open spaces caused by the irregularities of the design that's on the plastic chair. I'll be covering this opening with this leftover chain. And then staple pins will be covered with crystal buttons. Now this is what my chair now looks like. I wanted to make sure that every time I look at this chair, I will not remember that it was made out of plastic. But you know what? The bottom gives it away. I couldn't cover the bottom. But then it still looks pretty and I love it. Who would have thought that a boring looking plastic chair can look this good. I 
I have another throne chair that I made without arms and I put it besides what I just made. Now the link for this one is going to be down in the description box below. I really love this DIY idea and I hope you do too. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.